SAG AFTRA's national board unanimously voted SAG SPORT to VOTED strike order. TO STRIKE! When you're looking at the impetus for the writer's strike and the actor's strike, uh, it really all stems from the streaming economy and the way that the advent of streaming services really advanced and disrupted the entire Hollywood economy. And so you had writers and actors saying, hey, you know, the residual structure isn't the same. Um, you know, the way business is done is, isn't the same. You know, there's not the usual pilot cycle, the usual development cycle. Pretty much everything about the way TV in particular, TV and film, but TV in particular was made, had been disrupted. The writers were looking for, you know, greater minimum rates. Um, you know, they were looking for residuals from big streaming hits, you know, have more control over room sizes because the writers' rooms themselves, uh, they felt, were shrinking, especially with the advent of these things called mini rooms where you only had, you know, two or three writers, uh, you know, working on a show. Uh, and also just limited series because you had so many smaller streaming orders. You had 10 episode uh, orders instead of the usual 22 to 24 broadcast, you know, sitcom series. Um, so, you know, the, the way everything worked was just really different. Um, and the same thing with the actors, too. You had, uh, you know, actors who were looking for greater minimum rate increases, who were looking for improved residual structures. Uh, essentially, what so many people told me on the picket lines was that, the way of life that Hollywood had provided for them before within the old business model had changed and it just wasn't sustainable for the working writer or working actor. The writer strike ultimately lasted 148 days. I think that was a lot longer than some folks thought was going to happen. Same with the actor strike, which wound up lasting you know, something like 118 days. The writers and actors were very resolute that they wanted to see changes to the contract because in many ways their contracts hadn't really caught up with the technology with the new streaming economy and, and all the parts of the business that that had trickled down to. And, I mean, streaming is such a notoriously low margin business, but it's the way of the future. You know, people just aren't watching linear TV at the rates they used to. So many people watch Netflix and said they watch on-demand TV. So this is just the way that the consumer economy is moving toward. And it's the same thing with AI. There was an acknowledgement, um, you know, on the part of the guilds essentially that this isn't a technology that anybody can make go away. This is something that people are going to have to learn to coexist with. It's just how the business is going to have to learn to coexist with it that's going to be a point of contention in the future.